Hey everyone, I'm Deanna Chapman and today I am going to run through a reading order for the Dark Tower series by Stephen King. For those of you who don't know, I host the podcast Chat Cemetery, and I personally am reading through everything chronologically, but when it comes to the Dark Tower series, there are so many other books you can read outside of the main books that will help tie in some pieces that maybe you'd be missing if you didn't read them. And if I were to ever revisit the Dark Tower series again after this podcast. This is the order I would likely read the books and short stories in just to connect the dots a little better because with reading chronologically, it's one of those things where, you know, I read Salem's Lot so early on because it was one of King's first books that ended up being released that by the time I get to some of the Dark Tower books, especially the fifth Dark Tower book where Father Callahan comes into play, I don't really have that great of a memory as to what exactly his role was in Salem's Lot. I'm aware that he was in it and that it's a big part of the story, but it's the little details that are evading me at the moment. And I personally would start with the eyes of the dragon because this story takes place at the earliest point of time from what I can tell. And then I would go into The Stand because The Stand is a massive book. And most of the time people will be reading the uncut edition because the edited edition actually is not available anymore unless you find it at a used bookstore or something like that, which is the version I read. So I will probably go back and revisit the uncut edition at some point just to get those extra details. And then I would recommend starting off with the first Dark Tower book, The Gunslinger. Those three can kind of be read in any order. It just depends on your preference. If you want to tackle the stand first, I say go for it. It's a huge task, but a lot of people will tell others to read the stand first and then kind of get into everything else involving the Dark Tower series. But I would personally read The Eyes of the Dragon first just because it's a much shorter read and it can kind of get you in the swing of things before you dive into something as big as The Stand. From there, I would read The Little Sisters of Eloria. It's a short story that is collected in Everything's Eventual and that book collection will come up again because there's another story in it that involves the Dark Tower series. Then I would dive into The Drawing of the Three, which is the second Dark Tower book. You have seven Dark Tower books that are numbered, and then you have The Wind Through the Keyhole, which comes out after all of these other books. But I think you'll get into the groove of things if you read a few of these other things before diving into more of the books in the main series. I would also suggest reading The Talisman after this one because... Black House, which is the sequel to The Talisman, will come into play later on in this list. And I think it's just good to have that knowledge from The Talisman instead of just suggesting that you read Black House on its own. It can technically stand as a story on its own, but you'll have a better understanding of the characters in that story if you've read The Talisman first. Then I would read the third Dark Tower book, The Wastelands, and the fourth Dark Tower book, Wizard and Glass, back to back. You don't really need anything in between those two. From there, this is where things take a little bit of a detour because I would suggest reading Salem's Lot and Jerusalem's Lot together. Jerusalem's Lot is a story that is collected in Night Shift, and I was surprised it wasn't just tacked on as an epilogue for Salem's Lot because that's really what it feels like when you get through Night Shift and you get to that story. You're kind of like, oh, this should have just kind of come at the end of Salem's Lot because we know Stephen King does love to put in epilogues in a lot of his books. The next book is a bit of a tough read. I found it to be anyway, and that is Insomnia. It's a book that heavily ties into the Dark Tower series, but it might not feel like it at first. So you're kind of going to have to just stick with it and get through a lengthy book in order to get those extra Dark Tower connections from that. Then I would dive into the title story from Everything's Eventual because that introduces a character named Dinky, who will come into play later in the Dark Tower series. 
From here, this is where I would slot in the wind through the keyhole because it, the events take place between books four and five, and then you can dive into Wolves of the Kala, which is the fifth Dark Tower book, and Song of Susanna, which is the sixth Dark Tower book. From there, you'll want to read Hearts in Atlantis, which is very different from all of the other books on this list because it is a book that really focuses on the era around the Vietnam War, and it's a collection of stories, but all of the stories are interconnected, so it really just felt like a book that had a lot of time jumps and was telling overall the same story with a lot of the same characters. But Ted Brodigan is the character you'll want to pay attention to in Hearts in Atlantis. From there, you'll want to read Black House, which, as I mentioned earlier, is the sequel to The Talisman, written by Stephen King with Peter Straub for both of those. And then you can finally make your way into the seventh and final Dark Tower book, which is just titled The Dark Tower, fittingly enough. And if you are interested, though, there are a couple other things you can read. You could read Rose Matter if you just wanted to get an idea for how vast the Dark Tower universe is. And there's a story called Your or You Are. I'm not really sure which way King prefers it to be pronounced, but it was something that was originally written just for Kindle and has since been heavily revised and included in The Bazaar of Bad Dreams. So you have a couple options for extra material if you are up for it, but it's a pretty long list of what ties into the Dark Tower series, so I will make sure I have my reading order in the show description for you. I will also have links to my website, Instagram, and Twitter. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.